In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use a Wi-Fi analyzer on an iOS device such as an iPhone or iPad. In the previous video though, I talked about the situation of the Wi-Fi analyzer on the Android phones. And in case you missed it, the link is right there. Now, iOS is a different story because Apple does not allow third-party apps to perform Wi-Fi scanning on iOS devices. In other words, there are no third-party apps that can use an iPhone or iPad to analyze the Wi-Fi. That's why even though some of the apps we discussed in the previous video, which also have an iOS version, they lack the Wi-Fi analyzer feature. For example, this is the Network Analyzer app we talked about in the previous video, but as you can see, its iOS version includes features like LAN scanning and even these network tools, but it doesn't have the option to check the Wi-Fi signals. So what are we supposed to do? Well, if I really want to use an iOS device such as an iPhone or iPad as a Wi-Fi analyzer, I have essentially two options. Option one is to use a separate Wi-Fi spectrum analyzer hardware and connect it to the iPhone or iPad. The idea is that since third-party apps cannot use the iPhone or iPad to perform the Wi-Fi analyzing job, this hardware would be used instead for that purpose. The iPhone or iPad would only serve as a display to show the data coming from this hardware. Now, the advantage of using dedicated hardware for this purpose is that these devices are spectrum analyzers specifically designed for Wi-Fi analysis. As a result, they can usually provide much more detailed information about Wi-Fi frequencies compared to using a smartphone for the same task. However, the downside is that they're not free. For example, this is a Ypri 2500X Wi-Fi spectrum analyzer that is compatible with not only iOS, but also so Android, Windows, and Mac OS. As you can see, it is currently priced at about 650 US dollars. Now, the other option is to use the iPhone or iPad itself to scan the Wi-Fi environment. Although I mentioned earlier that Apple doesn't allow third-party apps for Wi-Fi scanning on iOS devices, they do have their own app called Airport Utility that can perform this function. The airport utility app is primarily used to manage Wi-Fi networks and airport-based stations like Airport Express, Airport Extreme, and Airport Time Capsule. However, even if you don't have any of those devices, you can still use the airport utility app for basic Wi-Fi analysis. To begin, you will need to first download the app from the App Store. Then enable the Wi-Fi scanning feature in the settings. Once that's done, you can open the airport utility app and perform a Wi-Fi scan. Basically doing this will show you the Wi-Fi networks in your area. While the information provided may not be highly detailed, it is still better than having no information at all. You will be able to see the SSID, BSSID, signal strength and the Wi-Fi channel. There is also an information button that if I press it, it will show me the channel usage in my area. For example, I can easily see that channel 6 in the 2.4 GHz band is very crowded in my area and it is probably not a good choice if I were to manually select a channel for my own 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Okay, so the bottom line is the iOS devices unfortunately are not the best devices to be used as Wi-Fi analyzers, at least not right now. I don't know if things are going to change in the future or not and whether Apple will allow third-party apps to access the Wi-Fi information or not, which seems to be very unlikely, but nonetheless, currently this is the situation. And as we saw, the options to use an iPhone or iPad as Wi-Fi analyzers are very limited. Android, on the other hand, is simply better. Now, what about Mac OS or Windows? Thank you very much for watching this kind of a short video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.